I'm Melissa Grew and I am a bird and wildlife conservation photographer and I want to talk to you about some of the gear that I use and that I rely on for my photography. As many photographers do, I have a lot of uh, camera bags, but this is is pretty much my favorite one. This is made by MindShift. It's the Backlight 36L, and it's capable of carrying pretty much everything that I need. This is the Sony 200 to 600. This is my preferred lens for some particular conditions, and really those are for birds in flight. This paired with the Sony A1 is pretty much an unbeatable rig. Once in a while, I'll go to this fantastic Sony 70 to 200 GM lens. And this is the one that recently came out that's just incredibly light and tack sharp. The 70 to 200 is, is great for mammals, such as if I'm in Yellowstone, this might be a good go-to for a bear or a bighorn sheep. I love having this whole array of lenses at my disposal because there are different situations that call for different lengths. So between the Sony 70 to 200 and the Sony 200 to 600 and the Sony 600 millimeter, all my bases are covered. And so I just feel really well equipped for any particular situation that might arise. I also do carry, at all times, my two teleconverters because I just love to be at a good distance from wildlife. I just find that it uh, results in the wildlife being more comfortable. And I love having the 50.1 megapixels of the A1 because then I can crop quite a bit, you know. So with the reach of the 600 plus the 1.4 or the two times, it's really getting me in close there, and that's so essential for a wildlife photographer. Something else I always love to have with me is a tarp, because I often find that I need to get low, and many places that I go are very muddy and dirty, and I, I always get pretty filthy, which I don't really have a problem with, but this also helps protect my gear. And so this is a quick dry tarp that just dries super fast, it's, it packs up super small, and it's one of those things I'm kind of never without. And some other things that I always have in my backpack, gotta have Allen wrenches if you ever need them. Always gotta have a granola bar because, you know, I can withstand a lot of discomfort when I'm out in the field, but the one thing I can't stand is really being super hungry. Paintbrush, just like a simple little paintbrush I got at a hardware store, because I find that I, I shoot in a lot of sort of you know, dirt-filled and sand-filled environments. And it's super useful for just very, very quickly wiping the sand or what have you off of my gear, just very efficiently. A shower cap, why, you might wonder. Well, this is great in a pinch if suddenly it starts raining and you were not expecting that. This one's looking a little limp, seen better days, but basically what I do is I just put it over the body of the camera and it's good to go. I mean, I have better kinds of rain protection gear at home, but this is just so easy to just throw into my bag and have it the ready and I can easily press all the buttons. And the other thing I really like to have with me are gloves. And so what I like to do often is I'll, I'll actually put on just these icebreaker little wool liners that I have. And so when I'm fidgeting with the camera or the lens, my hands aren't as apparent. They're not light as likely to spook the creature. And it's often why I wear these sort of buff neck things, because I'll pull this up so that only my eyes are visible, so it breaks sort of the outline of the face. And I think can sometimes, you know, when your eyes like glued to that viewfinder, then they can't really see your eyes. So I think that can be really helpful. And I'm often dressed in colors like this, you know, just sort of natural earthy colors. I'd never wear white, for instance, um, that would be, not a great idea. So then I have lens cleaners and extra lens caps and baggies just for whatever purpose. Um, 
And that's, that's about it for my bag. Thank you for watching, and for more of my wildlife photography tips, check out Alpha Universe on YouTube.